Good day everyone. I am here to present my research study entitled Peer Tutoring Strategy in Improving Students' Academic Performance in Grade 9 Science. I am Anna Ray B. Colongon, Teacher 2 at Lumampong National High School in Dang Annex, District of Inda. For the introduction, I use the acronym PETOPS, which means Peer Tutoring Strategy to Uplift Performance in Science 9. Academic performance of learners is the most important indicator of the success of any teaching learning process. This can be measured through various activities and assessment tools provided to the learners. As mandated by the Department of Education, learning outcome assessment or lower results per learning area must attain at least 75% rating. However, based on the recorded lower results, of Science 9, particularly second quarter, we always failed to attain even the least target rating of 75% for the past three years. It only shows that the academic performance of the students is really at stake. Factors underlying this problem must be addressed immediately in order to gradually increase the academic performance of the students. Intervention programs must be conducted, which may help resolve the underperformance in Science 9. In this particular study, it looked into the effectiveness of peer tutoring strategy in improving the academic performance of the students in Science 9. Research questions. This study aimed to determine the effectiveness of peer tutoring strategy in improving the academic performance in Science 9 of selected grade 9 students during the second quarter of the school year 2019-2020. Specifically, it sought to answer the following question. First, what is the academic performance of the students in Science 9 before the integration of peer tutoring strategy? Number two, what is the academic performance of the students in Science 9 after the integration of peer tutoring strategy? And lastly, number three, is there a significant difference between the academic performance of the students in Science 9 before and after the integration of peer tutoring strategy? Hypothesis. There is no significant difference in the academic performance of the students in Science 9 before and after the integration of peer tutoring strategy. For the scope and limitation, this study is focused on determining the effectiveness of peer tutoring strategy in improving the academic performance of the students in Science 9. Second, this study is limited and only participated by selected 162 students of Indang National High School. Third, this study is conducted during the second quarter of the school year 2019-2020. For the methodology, this study utilized WASA experimental research design through the use of pre-test and post-test determination of the effectiveness of peer tutoring strategy was done. Unlike other intervention programs which were conducted after the lower results at the end of the quarter, this intervention program involving peer tutoring strategy was given right after every module before the quarterly assessment, meaning the intervention program was inserted during the quarter and not after the quarter. After every module, summative tests were provided to the students. The results of the summative tests served as the baseline data to determine the students at risk and fast learner students. Fast learner students acted as tutors who helped the students at risk in accomplishing intervention activities. Students at risk are the tutees who will be 
performing the intervention materials or answering the intervention materials. After accomplishing the intervention materials, the students at risk will be administered with parallel tests. The result of the parallel test will determine whether the integration of peer tutoring strategy helped the students at risk in improving their academic performance or not. And that academic performance of the students were or was described through the use of mean SDNMES. On the other hand, significant difference on the academic performance of the students before and after the integration of peer tutoring strategy was determined through the use of e-test. Results of the study. Table 1 shows the comparison of scores in summative and parallel tests in terms of mean, SD, and MPS. As shown in the given table, mean and MPS of the summative tests were lower than that of the mean and MPS of the parallel tests. There is also a significant increase in the scores of the students after the administration of Parallel tests which were given after the integration of peer tutoring strategy. The researcher inferred that peer tutoring strategy helped the students in improving their academic performance in science. Moreover, table number two shows the teacher's result on finding the significant difference in summative and parallel test scores of the respondents. The table shows the computed T values, which shows module number 1 to have 27.45, module 2 20.48, module 3 5.90, and module number 4 11.54. Moreover, it also shows the computed P values. These computed p-values were all less than 0 0.05 level of significance, which means that there is a significant difference between the summative and parallel test scores. Summative and parallel test results showed that they are entirely different from one another. This variation of summative and parallel test results only imply that the students performed a lot better in the parallel tests which were given after the integration of peer tutoring strategy. As a conclusion, results showed that integration of peer tutoring strategy had a positive impact in increasing the academic performance of the students in Science 9. As an implication, developed intervention activities or worksheets can be used as a supplementary material in teaching Science 9. These are my cited references. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Other points. Lower results of the three selected sections, where 162 students came from, had an average of 81.54%, which may be attributed to the effects of peer tutoring strategy conducted after the target learning competencies. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you and God bless.